Hi YouTube, it's Lena. I'm here today with the Happy Hour Project Pan Update. This was created by Danny and Deb. I will link them down below. It is being done in conjunction with the Fantastic Ladies, whom I will also link down below. I don't know what happened with these updates. Like, it just kept kind of putting them off and I don't, I don't have a good reason why. <laughs> and suddenly we're like five and a half months in. Now, I do have a bunch of empties and the vast majority of the products have at least some progress on them. A couple do not yet. I do have all of my stuff listed down below as far as everything that I'm working on or supposed to be working on in this. But uh, yeah, uh, check out the intro if you want to see like pictures, well not necessarily pictures, but like me showing everything. Because if I haven't worked on it, I'm not going to show it. With the exception of one case where I'm changing the goal because I don't think I can hit the original goal at this point because I haven't used it yet. All right, but first let's get into empties because that's always the most fun. First is technically just a goal met, but for happy hour, an item you got on sale, I chose the Item Beauty Air Hug Clean Lightweight Full Coverage Concealer. I only wanted to use it 10 times and I did that on January 19th. The other, another one that is just a cool, it's not like I finished anything, is for Champagne, a product you save for special occasions. I chose my Rebel Rouge Suspended in Dusk palette. I wanted to just use every pan, no pan left behind style, and I did that. This does have some previous panage, but none of it's from this project. I, this is one of my favorite palettes, but because I'm always panning something else, I don't get to use it very often. I tend to throw it in project pan, so I can. I hit that goal on February 15th. Next is drunk shopping, something you don't know what possessed you to buy it. I chose this Whim by Ulta 3-in-1 Body Wash Bubble Bath and Shampoo. Uh, it was up to here when I put it in. This little bit that's in the bottom is mostly water because I actually put some water inside to get the last little bits out. But uh, I finished this on March 17th. Next is Dive Bar slash Hole in the Wall, a product from a smaller or lesser known brand. I chose the Levito 2-in-1 Purifying uh, Face Mask and Exfoliator. In this project, I started up to here because this was actually a rollover from a different project. I finished it on February the 19th. Next is Shot, a single Size, a sample size or single use item. I chose a little mini, apparently. <laughs> but uh, this didn't take me long to use up once I was using it. It is the Glow Recipe Plum Plump Hyaluronic Cream. Used all of that up. Uh, I finished this on the 8th of February. Next is Last Call, an item that was almost finished. I chose the Dry Bar Prep Rally Prime and Prep Detangler. It was up to here when I put it in. I didn't use it for a few months until somewhat recently. Uh, it, I used it up on the 10th of March. Next is Wine, a red or... I lost my place. <laughs> a red or white item. I chose this thing now covered in hair because it's sticky. This Item Beauty Lip Quip and Heart Poppin'. Uh, for this project, because it's another rollover, it was up to here. And I not only finished it, I cleaned it out. <laughs> I'm pretty proud of that. It was a red lip, like lip oil slash lip gloss though. I used it as a lip gloss because it was pretty pigmented. Next was something I actually didn't expect to finish in 2023, but I literally finished it on the last day. It for, sorry, that's my phone. Cocktail shaker, something you have to shake before use. I chose the Benefit Professional Super Center. It was up to here. Now there's nothing in it. I finished it on New Year's Eve, technically. Uh, next is Sex on a Beach, a beach or summer themed item. Credit to Lorraine McGilvray. I hope I'm saying that right. And I chose the Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Curl and Shine Hair Mask. I chose it based on coconut. It was technically up to here. I got about three uses out of this, which is surprising because I have a lot of hair. But I got some good uses out of that. Next is Friends in Low Places by Garth Brooks, a product you want to break up with. I came up with this prompt, actually. This was the other thing that I finished last year, but I was expecting to finish it. 
but I chose what was originally a shade in my Urban Decay electric palette called Freak, but I had moved it to my Pan That palette like I repressed it in here. If I have a picture, I will insert it, but this is what it looks like now. It is empty, which makes me very happy because I worked on that shade. I started working on that shade ages and ages ago. I had already hit pan on it when I put it in Fifty Shades Green. I was supposed to finish it there and it didn't happen. That's because Urban Decay comes, their, their eyeshadows, even in like palettes, come with a crap ton of products. <laughs> All right, so next is Mocktail, a dupe for a high-end product. Credit to Helen Hirsch, I chose the Nature Lab Tokyo Perfect Clean 2-in-1 Scalp and Clarifying Scrub. Um, I figured that this was a pretty good dupe for the Kristoff Robin hair scrub, although I like this one better because it has a better lather. Uh, oh, I finished the eyeshadow on Christmas, actually. This I finished on fe February the 29th, because, you know, leap year. Uh, I put this in weighing at 247.4 grams, and now this this weighs 43.8, and that's the last empty. <laughs> so going over uh, everything that I am still working on, first for Margarita, a product from a Latin brand, or a Latinx brand, I chose the Shades by Sean Bronzer. I am not going to put in a picture because it looks exactly the freaking same. It won't die. I have used it 25 times since rolling it in. 26, including today. Like I said, it won't die. And also, it went from 22.9 grams to 22.7. Now, as you can see, I'm not wearing a lot of bronzer right now. It's because I didn't want to go heavy handed with it because I want it to look semi-natural. I don't know, but I think I'm going to have this for the rest of my life. This is just one of those bronzers that like, you don't go through very fast. And also, I don't wear as much bronzer as I used to, because I used to have a pretty heavy hand with it. I mean, I eventually finished a Benefit, not, the Hula bronzer. It took me a while, but I finished it. So, yeah, like I said, I'm gonna have that for the rest of my friggin' life. All right, <sighs> complaining aside. Next is old fashioned and older item in your collection. I chose this Julep nail polish in, Daniela. I've used it once and I, it's like right under the mark. I'm actually gonna, ch this is one of the items I'm gonna change my goal on to make sure that I hit my goals. I was gonna finish it. I literally just don't paint my nails like I used to. Like, I just don't. It's a fact of life. I need to deal with it. I am changing my goal from finishing it to using it five times. So one use down, four to go. Next thing that I have that I'm working on is Tipsy, a product from a, you have a difficult time pronouncing. And that's because it is literally called Spa Scriptions. And it just, I stutter over that sometimes. It is the Spa Scriptions Radiance Soothing Glacial Water and Hyaluronic Acid and Glycolic Acid Facial Mist. It's also just a really long name. This is something that I got from the Dollar Tree. Uh, it started up here, and now I am down to here. You can't really see through it right now just because of the packaging, but let's see. If I bring it up really close, and if my camera focuses, you can kind of see through it and see where it's at. So it's about half done. This is six ounces. It's a bit bigger than most facial sprays, so it's taking me a little bit, but that's all right. At least I'm getting my dollar twenty-five. you know? Next is Craft Beer, an item from an indie brand. I chose the Pure Elise Butter Me Up Orange Cream Sickle Body Butter. I have to use this to shave with. I can't keep it on my body because something about me and my body chemistry turns what is actually a pretty nice smelling lotion into something heinous. Like, I, I can't deal with it. So, I use it to shave with. But we started here. It's now down to here. If I had shaved like one or two more times, this would probably be done, but I'm not too worried about that. It'll be done by the end, that's what matters. Uh, next is Mojito, something with a mint flavor, scent, or color. I chose this e.l.f. Cosmetics No Budge Eyeshadow Stick in Mint Melt. I only want to use it 10 times. I am actually wearing it today under this green eyeshadow. So far, I have used it eight times, so only two more to go. Next is Bartender, a product you can rely on, a product that never stops, and it doesn't. 
I chose the Rare Beauty, the With Gratitude Lip Balm and Thankful. I will insert my paper progress over here. And you would think with 15 uses, it would have moved further, but it doesn't. It just doesn't. Now, for being a lip balm, that is two swipes, like back and forth once. I usually end up wearing this as a lipstick, <laughs> honestly. To be fair, I don't know if it's just me falling in line with current trends or what, but I don't want as heavy of lipsticks as I used to wear. I'm wearing a full-on lipstick right now, and it feels heavy. <laughs> so this does not feel heavy, so I tend to like it a little bit more than other stuff I'm wearing. So uh, this was supposed to be finished in Beauty A to Z last year. Didn't happen. I have no idea if I'm gonna finish it for this or not. It just keeps going and going like the Energizer Bunny from hell. <laughs> Except I like the product. It's just when you've been panning something for so long, you start getting kind of irritated with it. So next is St. Patty's Day, a green or gold item. And I chose the Juice Beauty Prebiotics Instant Flash Facial. It's a face mask that you only wear for like a couple of minutes. This is my progress. <laughs> I can't remember to wear this now. I'm thinking when I finish the current mask that is in my bath and shower, I'm gonna move this there and just, cause that seems to be where I really go through masks. I'm like, I would really think something that I only have to leave on my face for like three minutes, I could use at the sink, but I never remember to use it. And that's just not where I do masks that I have to rinse off and I need to accept that about myself. Next for, mm, Mimosa, an item you use in the morning. I actually use this morning and night, but I clean my face with it in the morning and I use it to take off my makeup at night. I chose the Urban Hydration Kiwi and Pomegranate Micellar Cleansing Water because I have started using this to take off my makeup and I've gone through a big chunk of it. It was completely full, now it is down to here. No worries about finishing this even though it is huge. It is literally 500 milliliters or 16.9 ounces of product. Like for 10 bucks you get a lot of product. The problem is they're kind of hard to find. Like you could only get them at Ulta and they used to carry them in store but they have at least the one closest to me has stopped which is rude. So now you have to order them online and you can't order them from Ulta or their website. They're really good like my sort of waters. I just wish they were a little more readily available. Next is Nightcap, a product you use at night. I use it day and night, but whatever. Uh, the Symbiosis London Hyaluronic Acid and Pololan Tightening and Resplendent. It says eye mask, but it's an eye cream. I have gone from here to here, so about half the tube. Uh, this will carry me through at least a few more months, but I'll finish it by the end of the project in November. Next is Garnish, an item you use as a topper. This is my other nail polish in Fireworks. And same deal, I've used it once because I use those two nail polishes together. Instead of going for a completion, I'm just going to use it five times. But it is basically just below the line. So both of these, their goals are getting changed from use up to use five times. Just accepting that about myself. I don't wear nail polish like I used to, so need to just, unless they're minis, need to just stick with number goals. Next is beer goggles, something that you thought was pretty until you got it home and used it. Credit to unapologet unapologetically Shelly. The e.l.f. Cosmetics Halo Glow Blush Beauty Wand and Rose You Slay. Uh, if I don't use this as underpainting, like underneath my foundation, this is, for some reason, I can't make it work right. It always looks too intense. I put it in here because I'd only used it once at the time and I looked insane. And I've used it a couple more times since that. And uh, yeah, if I don't put it underneath the foundation, it still looks insane. Even if I just go in with like a couple of dabs because it dries like almost immediately. <laughs> so yeah, I've used it four times. I want to use it 10 times. I should hopefully have that done by the next update, which will hopefully be in about a month's time. And finally, I have not used this item yet, but this is something I'm changing the goal on, so I'm going to talk about it. For Trivia Night, an item that relates to pop culture. I believe I related this. I don't remember exactly how I related this, but 
I'm sure I related it to like, you know, Dragon Balls, not, no. I'm sure I related it to like Dungeons and Dragons or something like throwing a fireball. I don't remember. But it is the Urban Decay Eyeshadow in Fireball. It is just a little mini that I got in the Ipsy bag a million years ago, but I haven't used it yet. So definitely need to adjust my goal on this one. So I just want to hit pan. Hopefully I can do that. I don't think that should be that hard, but we'll see. I'm definitely not going to finish it, so got to adjust the goal. So that is it. Now, if I hit my goal and actually update in the month, uh, I think I will finish my number goal on these two items. Uh, there's a, one or two things that I hope will actually like be in here. And I think we'll have finished this. Like, there's a couple of things that I haven't started on yet, but I think they will at least be started to pawn by next month, let's say. So, that is it. Thank you guys for tuning in. As always, I do really appreciate it, and hopefully, I will see you later. Bye!